वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस डेली डोज वीडियो इन दिस डेली डोज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट वेदर अ फ्लो इज इोटेशनल एंड इनकॉम्प्रेसिव और इनकॉम्प्रेसिव येस इट माइट बी रोटेशनल एंड कॉम्प्रेसिव एंड इोटेशनल इनकॉम्प्रेसिव और रोटेशनल इनकॉम्प्रेसिव सो फोर कॉम्बिनेशन आर पॉसिबल राइट येस सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द गेट लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आस्क फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर concept where they ask you they will give you a flow of uh, vector and they are going to ask you that uh, is it compressible flow incompressible flow and all yes there is a concept behind it in many videos i have already explained yes as students who want to understand this concept in details they can download the byju's exam prep app in the app in the learn with video lessons i have explained this concept in details in the fluid kinematics chapter okay now coming to this particular video we are going to see the formula we can say the exact formula which we use to solve this kind of questions so let us see so first of all to check incompressible flow it actually comes from the continuity equation so ladies and gentlemen this is the continuity equation okay this is the continuity equation now when the flow is steady okay is the continuity equation when the flow is steady means what steady flow means what that the density will not change with respect to time that is steady flow so in this case you can see that the differentiation of the density rho with respect to t becomes zero so this becomes zero for a steady flow now you see this particular thing this is what this is del operator okay dot product rho the velocity vector yes now what happens this what is a del operator it is also a vector actually right i can say this is do of do x i cap plus do of do pi j cap plus do of do z k cap this is a you can say it's a vector only a del operator is a vector right and what's the velocity vector the velocity vector is i can say it will have the uh, x component u then uh, y component uh, v and then z component w right this is the velocity vector now what happens if i am saying that incompressible that means what i can say that the density is constant if the density is constant then i can take this density out of this particular operation i can write down this equation as rho then del dot v now see this i am writing in this manner now what happens now this equation is zero yes this this is equal to zero let us continue the equation it has to be satisfied now the thing is that rho is not zero because it is constant so it's not zero that means this term has to be zero yes this term has to be zero or i can say the divergence of this particular factor is zero right yes so i can say for incompressible flow the condition will be what the condition will be del operator dot velocity vector is equal to zero so this is what this is the condition this is the condition right so now this can be rewritten right let us write down this equation so what is del operator is do of do x i cap plus do of do y j cap plus do of do z k cap now we are doing a dot product right we are doing a dot product so when we do a dot product what happens then i dot i is 1 i dot j is 0 right j dot k is 0 i dot k is 0 okay so that means i will just take what i terms then j terms and then k terms so this equation changes to what do u by do x plus do v by do y plus do w by do z is equal to 0 so this is ladies and gentlemen what the continuity equation i can say continuity equation and this equation is also the necessary condition for what incompressible steady flow or i can say incompressible flow in general right so if they ask you a question that is a flow incompressible or compressible incompressible or not then what you're going to write down you are going to write down this you are going to check this condition if this condition is satisfied that means what it is incompressible now if it's 2d flow 2d incompressible if you want to check 2d incompressible flow that means what 
if it is 2D incompressible flow means what? There will be no Z component. So I can say do u by do x plus do v by do y is equal to 0. Yes, it's 2D incompressible. Yes. Now the next thing. The next thing I told irrotational also to check irrotational also. So how to check irrotational? That is very easy. How to check irrotational? Irrotational, the curl is zero, right? The curl is what? The curl is the cross product. So the cross product becomes zero, right? So now writing this cross product. This is curl is zero. Curl of velocity vector is zero. So is it curl is zero? How I write down the curl? How I write down the curl? I can add on the curl in this way. I cap, J cap, K cap. Now what was the del operator? It was do x, yes, do y, and then do z, right? And here u, v, w, yes? So this is how I write down the curl, right? How I write down the curl of v, or I can say that cross product of del operator and the velocity vector. Yes, in this manner I can write down. Now, if it is a 2D flow, then I will have only what? U and V. Yes, that means W is 0. W is 0, I can say in 2D flow. So now what happens in 2D flow, I will have only what? This Z component of this curl. Okay, so the, the, what is the Z component of this curl? You can see what is the Z component of this curl. Okay, let us expand this. Let us expand this. So I cap, I cap, then what? I cap means I have to do this. Yes, this is how I do determinant finding, right? Determinant finding, right? So this will become what you see? Do W by do Y. Yes, you see? Yes. So do W by do Y. I'll rewrite it. Do W by do Y. Okay. Minus do V by do Z. You can easily remember this equation if you are remembering this expression. No need to remember individually, right? It's a headache. <laughs> no need to remember individually. Okay? You just remember this form. Yes? This determinate form. It's very easy. I, J, K, Do, X, Do, Y, Do, Z, and then U, B, W. So you can easily find out, right? Then minus J. Okay? Minus J. Then what will remain? This one and this one. This is how I find determinate, right? So what will happen, you see? Do W by do x minus do u by do z right and then plus k cap in this case what will happen in case of k cap i will take this to right and then what will happen you see do v by do x minus do u by do y okay so this is the curl i can say curl expression right curl expression i can say yes now if i say that if i say that Mm, the curl is zero then only it is what irrotational it is irrotational if the curl is zero that means what individually this three has to be zero okay but in examination they don't ask 3d they ask 2d so in this case what i can say i what i can say this term containing u and v this becomes zero in 2d flow so i can say what your del v by del x minus del u by del y is equal to 0 or I can say in 2D irrotational flow if you can check just what del u by del y is equal to del v by del x yes and that is 0 if or not 0 means subtraction is 0 I can say they are equal see the subtraction is 0 means what they are equal so if these two are equal then what happens then it is an irrotational flow. So very easy. Normally they ask questions from 2D flow only. Let us not go into complications of 3D and all. <laughs> yes. So if you just want to check 2D flow, so the trick is what? Very easy. So I can say, what is the conclusion of this? If, you, if I ask you, what is the trick? Very easy. If you want to check incompressible flow in 2D, just check this. Del U by del X plus del V by del Y is equal to 0 or not. Just check this much. Yes, <laughs> and if you want to check irrotational, just check that del u by del y is equal to del v by del x or not. It's a small, uh, I can say, uh, warning that it is what? Del u by del y, it is not del u by del x. You see, in this equation it is what? Del u by del x plus del v by del y. Yes, but here it is what? 
then it is what del u by del y is equal to del v by del x easy okay so i'll highlight which one you have to remember you have to remember this one yes and you have to remember this one if you can remember this two your job is done understood let us solve one question to understand it's a previous or gate question two marks question okay so you can see that u and b are given so 2d flow you have to check it is irrotational incompressible what let us check uh, incompressibility so del u by del x plus del v by del y is partial differentiation so let me do partial differentiation of u with respect to x the first term is y cube so differentiation will be zero second is x 2x so difference will be 2 last one is x square y so it will become what 2xy yes this is what partial differentiation of u with respect to x now partial differentiation of v with respect to y will give me what first term will give me what first term will give me 2xy next term will give me minus 2 third term is x so we are differentiated by respect to y so this becomes what your 0 now you see this equation this get cancelled this get cancelled so this is equal to 0 so ladies and gentlemen it is what it is incompressible flow very easy you see very easy incompressible flow because 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 this is 0 yes check this condition now for irrotational which condition I told del u by del y not x y this is equal to del v by del x or not let us check this now del u by del y means i will do the partial differentiation of v u with respect to y so when i do partial differentiation of u with respect to y the first term will be what 3 y square by 3 yes so i can say y square only i will get second term is x so that will become zero third term is minus x square y so partial difference will give me what x square so this is del u by del y let us see del v by del x so when i differentiate v with respect to what your this is del v small v let us write down small v okay when I differentiate with respect to what x the first term will be what first term will be y square only i am differentiating with respect to x second term will be zero because y i am differentiating with respect to x and third term will be 3x square by 3 so again what x square you can see that these two are same these two are same so it is what it is your irrotational flow also so you can see that by just using this thing you can solve many questions in the gate and similar examinations where they ask you to check whether a flow is incompressible irrotational and all and mostly they ask 2D, therefore we solved a question of 2D. 3D will be a little difficult. Not difficult actually, I explained also how to find out for 3D. For 3D, I can say all these 3 will be 0 and I can say that DW by DZ also is 0. That is 3D, right? But most of the questions are 2D and you can easily solve all these questions by just applying this concept. Thank you very much.